Hi, welcome to another Biomedical Engineers TV video. In this video, we will look into diathermy machines. Let's look into the history of diathermy machines. In 1908, German physician Karl Franz Nagelschmidt coined the term diathermy and performed the first extensive experiments on patients. Nagelschmidt is considered the founder of the field. He wrote the first textbook on diathermy in 1913, which revolutionized the field. Until the 1920s, noisy spark discharge Tesla coil and Auden coil machines were used. These were limited to frequencies of 0.1 to 2 MHz called long-wave diathermy. The current was applied directly to the body with contact electrodes, which could cause skin burns. In the 1920s, the development of vacuum tube machines allowed frequencies to be increased to 200 to 300 megahertz, called shortwave diathermy. So, what is shortwave diathermy? SWD is a modality that creates heat via emitted electromagnetic radio waves. The heat is produced by oscillation of high-frequency electric and magnetic fields, most commonly at 27.2 megahertz traditionally. The heat is produced by oscillation of high-frequency electric and magnetic fields, most commonly at 27.2 MHz. Traditionally, there are two types of SWD units which create heat in different ways. Inductive SWD units contain coils which creates a magnetic field. This field projects forward into the body and generates a circular electric field within the target tissue. Typically, the coils are confined to flexible cables or within a rigid drum. In comparison, capacitive SWD units use condenser plates to transfer oscillations of electric fields between the plates. The target tissue is placed between the condenser plates and acts as a capacitor to store electrical charge, resulting in local heating of the tissue. Generally, SWD can produce therapeutic heat as deep as 3 to 5 centimeters. However, this can vary widely depending on applicator type, setup, and amount of fat. Muscle temperature has been shown to rise 9.5 degrees Celsius with less than 1 centimeter of subcutaneous fat versus only 5.6 degrees Celsius with greater than 2 centimeters of subcutaneous fat. In addition, research has shown heat to be better distributed with only air between tissue and applicator compared to a barrier with a cotton terry cloth. What are the types of diathermy machines? Well, there are three types of diathermy, shortwave, microwave, and ultrasound. First, let's look into shortwave diathermy. Shortwave diathermy uses high-frequency electromagnetic energy to generate heat. It may be applied in pulsed or continuous energy waves. It has been used to treat pain from kidney stones and pelvic inflammatory disease. It's commonly used for conditions that cause pain in muscle spasms such as sprains, strains, bursitis, and tenosynovitis. The second type of diathermy is microwave diathermy. Microwave diathermy uses microwaves to generate heat in the body. It can be used to evenly warm deep tissues without heating the skin. Since it can't penetrate deep muscles, it's best suited for areas that are closer to the skin, such as the shoulders. And the third type of diathermy is ultrasound-based diathermy. Ultrasound diathermy uses sound waves to treat deep tissues. Heat is generated by the vibration of the tissue. This promotes blood flow into the area. Ultrasound diathermy is used for musculoskeletal sprains, strains, muscle spasms, joint contractures or adhesions, neuromas. Let's look into the components of a diathermy machine. Basically, all shortwave diathermy units contain three parts, the oscillator, the power amplifier, and the applicator. The oscillator, not unlike one found in a radio transmitter, generates the 27.12 MHz or 13.56 MHz signal that the power amplifier boosts. Additionally, the oscillator usually employs a timer to control the duration of treatment. The oscillator's output is fed to the power amplifier to boost the oscillator's output to the therapeutic levels described above. The circuitry of the power amplifier contains a means to adjust the output power and a meter or other output power indicator. Normally, a shortwave diathermy produces a continuous output, but in designs featuring a pulsed output, the power amplifier circuitry also controls the duration and magnitude of the output. The number of pulses produced in this mode is operator-selectable and varies, depending on the design, from 5 to almost 1,000 pulses per second, usually with a higher output than in continuous mode operation. 
This was a simplified video on therapeutic diathermy machines. Hope you guys like the information. And if you do, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will, of course, see you guys in the next video.